Hey, what's up? Welcome to my new video. So today, I'm actually making a pair of jeans for a model. And it's a female. So I'm going to see if I can push myself, see if I can make a good pair of female pants. Um, usually, I'm making pants for myself. So making pants for someone else is going to be new which is something I'm actually looking forward to. I'm looking forward to that challenge. So my first step is always to get my pieces cut up. So I got my patches set here, here. Um, you know, just a, a, a wide variety. My theme is like that tan, brownish combo. Uh, the jeans actually, I went ahead and cut them up in half entirely. So that's gonna, allow me to have a lot of space, which is just what I need. So my first step is going to be to patch them up. Uh, first, I'm going to pin my patches using these. I'm going to try to give it a symmetrical look um, with these and these on the legs. Okay, so I've got these patches on. Now I'm gonna sew these on. Okay, so now I've got both the sides sewn on. This is what we're looking at. So I'm gonna also do some more patches here in a bit and more cutting and sewing. I'm not completely done, but I've got a good portion um, here done so far. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and take a walk get some fresh air and then I'm gonna come back and finish it. Now I'm actually cutting out my denim patches. They're gonna be heart-shaped patches so I actually went and traced a heart on the back with a fine point sharpie. So now I'm just cutting them out. I've actually got six of these that I'm gonna be cutting out. Now they're all cut up. So it's time to actually sew these onto the pants. I'm not going to be sewing them on like this. I'm going to be sewing them on under and then cutting on top to expose the patch. So the hearts are all pinned on. It's time to actually sew them. So I try to keep about like a quarter inch seam allowance throughout the whole way around. Okay, so now the patch has been sewn on to the inside of the jeans. So these are the outsides. Now I'm going to actually cut inside right here and you'll be able to see the denim. Sweet, so now they're all sewn up. Here's what they look like. Okay. So my final steps are gonna be to actually sew the legs back together. So fortunately, these jeans didn't even have a front zipper. Uh, it was just, like a sweats almost, I guess. Just, so that allowed me to use my seam ripper and uh, split it evenly. So sewing them back together is actually gonna be very simple. First, I'm gonna need to flip them inside out. Okay, so I went ahead and I've clipped up the, I guess, butt crack. <laughs> and this is gonna be the front half, which is essentially this part right here, but except there's no zipper, like I said. So I'm gonna be sewing this part and the back part together first. And then we're gonna move on to the inside of the legs. So as I'm sewing, I'm trying to keep it aligned on this side. That's actually where I keep my eyes locked. It's not even on the needle. I'm keeping my eyes locked right here. That way it remain, the distance remains consistent. So let's go ahead and finish this up. Okay, so now I got this front and this backside sewn. Now I'm actually gonna go ahead and sew the crotch together. So through the front side and the back side, I'm going to sew them on this side and on this side, just two simple lines. 
um, just to connect them. Okay, so I've got the crotch sewn all together. I've got the legs all sewn back together. Now it's time to see the finished product. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip these inside out. There's one leg, now let's get the other one. Finished product. I really wish I could try these on, but <laughs> they're not for me. <laughs> but I'm super satisfied with how they came out. Um, I'm actually glad that I pushed myself outside that comfort zone to get a pair of jeans done for, uh, you know, a woman. So women's fashion is something I had to dabble in for this project. So that's going to be it for this video. Um, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, I really work hard on what I do, so I'd really appreciate that. Uh, but of course, you have free will, so you don't have to. Anyways, I love you guys. Um, I hope you have a good day.